Hey guys, Wedge here, bringing you another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video and today I'll be showing you how to use the MCDU system with the help of SimBrief. So essentially what SimBrief is, it allows you to create a flight plan which you can then input into the MCDU system which then allows you to fly the aircraft with autopilot without having to turn it manually. So basically, when you get to SimBrief, you're going to want to make an account and then you'll be brought to this screen here. Um, so, register, you want to go to Dispatch. Alright, new flight, you're going to want to click and then you should be on this screen here. It's a lot of things, but don't worry, it is very, very, very simple to use. All you're going to want to do, put your aircraft in, so Southwest Airlines, I guess, I don't know. Flight number, mine's 1984. And then the most important part, where you're departing from. So we're departing from JFK, which would be KJFK, and we're going to Ronald Reagan Airport, Ronald Reagan International, which is uh, KDCA. All right. Now the alternative airport is somewhere in Pittsburgh. You can just put on auto, or you can type one that's closer. Um, and go from there. The date, the departure time aircraft we're flying which would be a320 or this one here there's no one for a320 neo it's just all it's within the a320 family all right we're well on that one you can change this if you want but that's just your climb it doesn't really matter you don't really need that scheduled flight time you can change that the departure and arrival runway does change some things up so I'll leave it as is because I know half the time it's normally right so we're departing from 22 right at JFK and we'll be arriving at runway 19 at uh, Ronald Reagan Airport. Alright, as we scroll down you'll get to see this bit here. If you scroll down even more you'll see that it's actually your waypoints that you'll be hitting on your way to uh, your destination. So you can click these four here, it changes how you get there. So if I click one you can see I'm going out over the Atlantic Ocean Click two, I'm going over like Jersey, etc. etc. So, for this video, we'll go with number four, and then all we're going to want to do is click generate flight, yes, let that load, and then boom, we have everything here that we need to have. We've got our routing, um, our fuel, our flight number, our destination, etc. etc. So now what we can do, we can take this into the flight simulator and input all of this and then we are pretty much all ready to go. So we'll jump back into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Alrighty, we're back in the game now. So if you just want to come down here, hit initiate, I-N-I-T, you should be brought to this screen. So if you click the little dash at the top here, we know that we're flying from K. J F K to K D C A. And then click it again when you've done it. Turn. And you can see there we're flying from K J F K to K D C A. Now if you click the third one, your flight number. Oops, sorry, we've got to type it in first. 1974. And click that again. Didn't work. Oh, no, sorry, it did work, it did work. Alright, now your cost index, I'll actually show you where it is on SimBrief. So when you go back onto SimBrief, you've got this hey, on this page here. Just scroll down a bit more, your OFP. This line here will always tell you your cost index, so ours is 21. So, 2, 1, bada bing, bada boom. And then our cruising altitude... Um, which it's only short flight for me, so I'll do 260. So flight level 260, and that's the temperature it will be. So once that page is all filled out, if you just click the arrow, so the right arrow, you'll be brought to the second page, which is the block fuel and pretty much your weight of your aircraft, essentially, to sum it up. So to get your block fuel, you want to go up here and F fuel on board. 3,840 kilograms, or your block fuel would be 3.8. So 3.8. Oh, 
vehicle and then your zero fuel weight just click the dash there and it will calculate it here so 42.5 by 25 plop it in there and then everything else fills out itself you have to put in your block fuel first before that it calculates everything else so once your block fuel has been put in and all the all the other corresponding information on the initiate page you're going to want to head over to the flight plan page which is just this button here click that one and then you'll be brought with this menu here so basically all it tells you is where you're flying from and where you're flying to and your waypoints that you'll be hitting with your autopilot so we'll be flying from KJFK, oh sorry, K, KJFK to KDCA. So first things first, we're going to start with KJFK. So if we could just click that one there, this screen will come up. I'm going to hit departure and you'll get a list of runways. So I'm going to scroll the page up and find that a runway I'm taking off, which is 22 right. And your SID. Now, I don't have a SID on departure, this one here. You will know that if you follow this here, just match it essentially to that. So these are the SIDs. Do they match any of them? No. So just click insert and then boom, you've got that set up. And you can already see on the map, you can see your waypoints starting to hit up. So if I follow what I have here, my next waypoint will be Dixie, Leah, Chops, Blitz and Capaco. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to do it. So basically, all you need to do, just type it out. So Dixie, D-I-X-I-E, and just hit the actual destination, and you'll see it will go above it. If you actually click JFK, your waypoint will go above JFK, etc., etc. So just click the destination, and it will always follow in order. So next one is Leah, L. E E A H. If you scroll down, I will again click K D C A, and you'll see it's below Dixie. And you can see the line is forming. If I zoom out, there we go. There's Dixie, and there's Leah. And if we follow again, the next waypoint is Chops C H O P S. Again go down click KDCA and Leah and then chops there's chops there's KDCA and then the last one is Kapako K-A-P-K-O KDCA it's gonna be below chops and it's pretty much at KDCA so once you've put all your waypoints in you're now gonna set up your arrival into wherever you're landing so if you click the destination arrival and then you're going to find the runway you're la landing at which mine is 19 so let me just go find that you know what? we're going to change it to one ILS one just so I can show you how the ILS is used that's one and I actually don't have an arrival into that so just click insert and then pretty much right there bang it's right there that's your flight plan so once your flight plan is all in you want to double check it's all right what you want to do flick this top switch here to plan and then if you're still on the flight plan mode all you need to do is just click the arrow keys these ones here and then follow it so we'll follow it back to where are we JFK okay so we'll see at departure let me zoom out we fly straight out pretty much there we go Dixie Leah Chops Capaco Katrin and then pretty much we're arriving into uh, Ronald Reagan Airport so you can see that that flight plan is pretty good and it should be a smooth landing so pretty much your flight plans in it's all good you don't need to change it so that's all good once you have checked your flight plan, made sure it's all good, you're going to want to head over to PERF or your performance. This is pretty much your V1, your VR, your V2. This is how you're going to take off, what speeds you need to hit, what flap you need to use, etc, etc. So first things first, you want to use flap 1. It's mostly what you take off with is flap 1. 
and flex to temp I normally put 45 degrees doesn't really matter but 45 is a stand the transition altitude most airlines I believe in America are 10,000 uh, but you don't need to put that in that doesn't really matter what matters is your V1 VR V2 and your flap so now that you've put your flap in when you click your V1 speed you'll actually see it pop up there so 121 click it again boom your VR 122 knots boom and finally your V2 126 knots boom so there's all your information in and that's pretty much everything all set up we now have a flight plan we know what speeds we need to take off with pretty much all we need to do now is board push back and take off which I will cover in another video so if you did find that video helpful, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator videos, again, let me know. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and remember, have a good one.